<clears throat> Hello everybody. Um, this is going to be a simple tutorial on how to build a low prop diesel locomotive in Gary's Mod. So the first thing you're going to want to do is um, go on the workshop. I'll provide a link in the description. Download uh, Mag and Mag's locom locomotive pack. These are in the um, FCNN um, add-ons list thing. So just click all that and you'll be set to go. Um, now what you're going to want to do is um, first pick out the engine you want to do. We'll, we'll just do an RS3 because why, why not. Just put it up here. Now what you're going to want to do is um, take one of these locomotive bogies. Now, I know it's confusing to put the right ones on since there are like at least like seven different ones yet you can use. But my advice is just if you want to you just try to use the right bogies. Look at some pictures. Just um, shift tab and go to Google and just um, look it up there. That's that's my best advice if you're unsure. Actually. Hang on. Now, next, what you're going to want to do, use the precision tool and smart snap. Press. Oh, actually, hang on. You look in the middle and you press E and you'll snap right in the middle. And simply click there and try your best to align the X in the middle. Like that. My crosshair appears to be gone. That's interesting. But we can ignore it. Just try your best to get in the center there. All right, so now we have a locomotive with wheels, basically. Now you're gonna, you're probably gonna want to put a headlight or two on there. I always use this black one. Hang on a moment. Gonna pretend that didn't happen. All right, <laughs> so just put it, you know, vaguely in the middle. There are stuff in there for more detail. I'm just going to do the one for right now. All right. Next, what you're you're probably going to want to um, stick one of these in there. This is um, Mag's prefab control stand. The, this is exceedingly useful for making a sort of just generic cab. Most locomotives have something of this nature. So just come in here. Just put it to move. Stick it right about there. And obviously you're going to want a place to sit. Alright, so um, I'll add a few more things and uh, I'll, I'll come back. The next thing that you're going to want to do with, when you have a seat in your train is uh, put a pod controller somewhere. I'm just going to stick one on the back of this. And um, right click on that and then right click on the chair and you have now linked it together. You see that turns green when I'm in the chair. Now what you're going to want to do is go to con constant value. Make sure um, value is at least one. One. Just stick that anywhere. Wire. Now, this is important. Crosshairs, wire that to this. Also, it helps if you um, make the wiring invisible that becomes slightly less annoying. Hang on a moment. <laughs> That's the big problem with doing this all in one take. Mostly in one take. Alright, so you go to wire advanced, crosshairs, click your constant value, 
and allow buttons. Click constant value. This this is gonna make your life so much easier. Because if I go to buttons. I can now look at the button and click it. So toggle. I don't know why my preferences have been reset. It's weird. All right. So we're gonna wire that button there to our light. Now this is something that take that a lot of people don't know is that when you're wiring a button, you gotta wire red, green, and blue to your button, and your button must have a value of um 225. Hang on, I forgot to do that. You go down here, you delete that, 255, put that right there, that'll work for turning your lights on and off. See right now it's red, but if I wire green to it, it should turn yellow. Now we wire blue, and there we go. That is a fully functional headlight that you can turn on and off when you want. Now then, there's another thing you're going to need that's absolutely vital for you to have. Now, most people drive trains today with, ex with Magnum's Expression 2 train controller. Um, that's what I use. I'm going to use uh, Optimize Locomotive Control. Now, I will tell you how to do that. Um, I'm going to post basically all of this shit. I'm, I'm going to post into the description of the video. And what you're going to want to do is copy all that. Control C. Uh, new page. Basically, delete all this shit and paste all that in. And you now have a locomotive control E2. Optimized as well. Now then, you say this has um, Alco. For, I don't. I'm gonna keep that. But if you want to change it, you go to Sound Browser. Yeah, you keep whatever random ass fucking thing you want. Click copy to clipboard. You remove the diesel sound here. Just delete all that and then copy paste that right in there. And that should be good. Um, a few other people probably want to know how do you make um, horns and whatnot while we're on the topic of sounds. Um, Magnum also has um, uh, a sound emitter replacement, or you can just use sound emitters, I guess. I don't know if sound emitters cause lag or anything. I don't think so, but I'm just going to put that out there. Um, Magnum's, I don't know if I'll put that in the description. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, now to the meat of the issue. Wiring this thing does, does take a little bit of warning. Now what you're going to want to do is wire active to the button that's going to turn it on. I forgot to put a button. Hang on, I'll get a button. Make sure it's a toggle button, otherwise you'll turn it on and it'll turn itself right back off. Alright, so put that shit there. Put a wire. Active. Wire active to your start button. When you turn it on, it starts making noise. W, you're going to want to wire directly to your pod controller. Like like so. Same with S and space. Now then, throttle OVR, that is for if you want to link multiple locomotives together, which I very rarely do. Um, so yeah. At this point, we now do have a train that will go on the tracks, but you're going to want, but it's going to lag because it has a bunch of props that still have physics. So go to gates, tick, pick fucking any gate, 
stick it right on the bottom or wherever you want it to go and go to multi-parent now then multi-parent will allow you to parent pretty much anything that isn't necessary what I would leave unparent what you're supposed to leave unparented right now is um the E2 the um local control E2 the trucks because these have to move the body because these have these things attached to it and any button that you need to press that you can't reach from a seat because um, it does mean you can't really turn off buttons when they're parented. So just come down here and there you go. Now this is parented. What now a lot of you are probably asking why can't we just wipe or why can't we just uh, parent it to the body of the train? Well when you have a gate here it means you can change color, you can edit um, body groups and stuff and yeah when you parent it to just a normal prop it, it doesn't allow you to do that I don't understand it I don't get it I'm sure there's a reason I just don't know I'm afraid so yeah quick pro tip if you wanna change how your train looks in a minor way go to bot hold C go to body groups you can get no detail which is um, if you wanna make your own details and stuff um, you got different skins, handrails, you can change the handrail colors, add some stripes, some dank ass stripes to the front, fuel tank, you can make a longer fuel tank on this one. So yeah, that's just a nice little bit of variance, and um, that's going to save you some time if you want to um, put some safety stripes in your paint scheme. Also, um, I think a lot of people already know this, but these are colorable. Yeah. Now then, when you save your train, you're going to want to go to Advanced Duplicator 2. That is the one on the bottom. And you want to shift and hit right click. That's going to bring up this big green box. Now you're going to want to expand this box so you get all your engine in the green. And when you do it correctly, you'll have a ghost. Of it now then all you have to do is uh, go to advanced duplicator save it to whatever folder you like but because this is just for demonstration I'm not gonna save it you just bring it out here go down the rails and there we go we now have a fully functional diesel locomotive Go forward at a variable speed. Go backwards. And we can pull trains with this. Train car is basically basically just a locomotive without all the fancy control shit. They're fairly easy to make. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. This has been the Pain Train 765. And have fun building trains.